this video we are going to talk about a bone tumor called osteoblastoma. Before moving on, welcome to Medbits Made Simple. If you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you won't miss out any of my upcoming videos. Osteoblastoma is a benign bone tumor. It is a locally aggressive tumor and it is more commonly present in the axial skeleton which is the vertebral body and the pelvis. It is more common in men as compared to females and the common age of occurrence is 10 to 30 years of age. It has many similarities to osteoid osteoma but however there are many differences also which I'll be talking about. Osteoblastoma is usually bigger in size, it is more than 2 cm usually as compared to osteoid osteoma which is usually smaller and less than 2 cm in size. Osteoblastoma has poor response in pain for pain to NSAID or aspirin whereas osteoid osteomas in, in cases of osteoid osteoma the pain responds very well to NSAID and aspirin. Osteoblastoma is common in axial skeleton like the vertebral body and pelvis whereas osteoid osteoma is common in the appendicular skeleton. The clinical features are pain a uh, characteristic feature of osteoid osteoma is night pain means the patient has a lot of pain during the night and they and it even dis disturbs their sleep whereas night pain is not commonly seen in osteo osteoblastoma and as i said a common site for occurrence of osteoblastoma is the spine so if it is occurring in the vertebral body near the nerve roots can cause compression of the nerve root leading to neurodeficit such as weakness of lower limb, numbness of lower limb or bowel and bladder changes in form of urinary retention or incontinence and there can be back pain also because of the nerve root compression. There can be local tenderness and swelling if osteoblastoma is occurring in the appendicular skeleton like the long bones of the body. Coming to histopathology, you can see that there are interconnecting trabeculae of woven bone which is the pathological bone and there is around the foci of tumor we can see that there is osteoblastic rimming we can see a single layer of osteoblasts around the foci of tumor and sometimes we can see giant cells in osteoblastoma sometimes it might not be present also coming to genetics we should know that there can be overexpression of various factors like hepatocyte growth factor in few cases especially the aggressive forms and there can be MDM2 amplification and rearrangements of FOS and FOS B genes. Diagnosis X ray, CT, and MRI can be helpful in diagnosing osteoblastoma. The characteristic feature seen in X ray and CT is that, as you can see here, there is a central blackish area which is called as the central nidus. And in osteoblastoma, it is usually more than 2 cm in size as compared to osteoid osteoma in which it is less than 2 cm in size. And there is a surrounding reactive sclerotic bone which is seen as white or dense in appearance around the central nidus. It is well defined in osteoid osteoma whereas in osteoblastoma it might not be very well defined. Surgery is in for, small, for smaller tumors, curatage might be enough. But however, for bigger tumors, marginal excision means complete excision of the tumor from its margins along with adding adjuvant therapy like phenol or cryotherapy which can ensure that there are no remnant tumor cells which helps in preventing recurrence. And if the bone defect is excessive after the surgery, can augment the bone defect using bone cement which is called as PMMA or polymethyl methacrylate cement. Well done, you made it till the end of the video. If you have any doubts or suggestions for the upcoming videos, make sure to comment below. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and share this video to your friends and hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss out any of my upcoming videos. You can watch more of my bone tumor videos by clicking on the playlist here and check out my study with me channel by clicking on the link you see on the screen right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.